Hi, this is Tammy from Flagstaff, Arizona Living. And because it seems to be the winter that never ends, I'm going to tell you all about the fun things you can do in Sedona in the winter time. It's a great time to visit Sedona because the weather is still very mild. You might need a, you're definitely gonna need a jacket and you may not be able to access every single trail if there's too much snow or if it's slippery, they won't allow you to go out there. But for the most part, Sedona itself only gets snow a couple times a year. So I think the winter time is a great time to visit. The first thing I would recommend that you do is go to Red Rock State Park. It is just south of town. It's close to the high school in Sedona. And I think it's $7 per person to enter. And it is a hiking and walking park. There are really nice restrooms there. And there's also a really cool visitor center as well where you can see the schools of different animals that are native to our area. And there's this old house. I think it's called like Angel Fire House or something. Um, I actually was just there and it was really a cool, fun hike. So no matter what category you're in, I don't know if, if you're in a wheelchair, I'm not sure if there's anything accessible that way, but any other level of hiker or walker could probably handle it. Um, and then very close nearby, there's a place called Red Rock Crossing, which is really busy in the summer times because everyone likes to go and swim there in the creek. So there are beautiful views there. Um, and that's my first recommendation is Red Rock State Park and very close to it is Red Rock Crossing. The second opportunity would be to go downtown and park your car. There is a lot of parking up on the hill as well. So if you don't see any parking right away downtown, um, circle back. We have a couple of roundabouts that can turn you back around. And there's all these really fun shops. They have outdoor gear. You can get really fun Sedona, um, you know, magnets and t-shirts and hoodies and hats or they have cool crystals, really amazing artwork. If you need new shoes, um, if you're cold and need a hat, they'll sell it there as well. And then of course they have really fun places to eat and ice cream, fudge shops, like all sorts of fun stuff. I never get bored going to Sedona and just walking around the shops. They also have really cool statues outside as well. So it's always a fun time. My third recommendation would be to get on the trolley. There is a Sedona trolley that takes you around the town. I believe it also takes you to the different trailheads the trailhead parking lots are very, very limited and small. So if you wanna go at, to go hiking, I recommend that you go to the public parking lot and have the shuttle or the trolley take you to your trailhead so that you don't miss out. You just have to plan ahead and I think you'll have a great time. Um, my fourth recommendation would be to take a pink Jeep tour or any of the tour companies. They have a lot of tour companies out there Find one that fits your budget and read the reviews and just go for it because there's so much more to see and explore than you would even know where to begin. Just being there feels amazing and there's so much to see and look at, but I, I think that having a tour guide is a great idea as well. And then my fifth recommendation would be to go to this place called Tlaki Paki. I have no idea if I'm saying it right. It's spelled T-L-A-Q-U-E-P-A-Q-U-E. -E -E. And it has a yummy restaurant there called Red Rock, no, it's called um, Oak Creek Brewery. They also have a coffee shop and then just some really fun little shops there as well. It's just a fun place to go and you can cross the street and go to some other shops as well. So that's just a different part of town than what the downtown Sedona is. Um, my final recommendation would be actually to go to the skate park. You don't have to go skateboarding, just go up there because I think it's one of the best views in town. There is a park up there. There's also some hiking up there and it's not as well known as some of the other spots. My son loves to go to the skate park, so when I take him there, I'm just like, how is this the most beautiful skate park in the country? I don't even know, but it's amazing. So I would say just go check it out and maybe you can watch um, some of the skateboarders, their scooters, there's little kids, there's big kids. It's really a fun time. So if you guys have any questions about Sedona or Northern Arizona in general, definitely reach out to me. I live here year round and I'm here with lots of ideas. If you have any recommendations of what you would like to hear more about, definitely let me know. And of course, if you ever wanna go tour a home. If you're interested in moving here, a second home, an investment home, I got your back. Have a great day.